everyone, it's Tiffany. I am here with this subscription box called Excavating Adventures. I want to thank them for sending this to me for free to check out with you guys. I will be linking it down below if you are interested in checking it out even further. But this looks so cool. Let me walk you through it. So of course we have Excavating Adventures. It says Gemstone Journey. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. And you can see that this is a little adventure. So, oh my gosh, there's so much to it. I'm so excited. When I was little, I would collect like the little rocks like this every time like I went to one of those gift shops and everything, so this is cool. <laughs> now we do have, well, basically what we're gonna do is we have this, let's, let's, let's get this out, this little tin. And this little tin has stuff that we have to dig through so that we can find some gemstones. And then of course, this is our little guide here. Let's see if this says anything. This just gives us instructions. So it says, use the tools and the small envelope to scrape away, uncover, examine the specimens in the excavation tin. Use the polishing rag moist toilet to clean your specimens. Use the pictures on the front of this card to identify your specimens. Store your specimens in the plastic collector's box. Open the envelope of trading cards, explore the information on the back of the cards, and then store the cards in the plastic binder sheet. Select your favorite specimen and put it in the cardboard display box. Once you have completed all of the above steps, place the Gemstone Journey passport sticker on one of the question marks on your Excavating Adventures passport. Store this identification card in the plastic collector's box to identify your specimens. I love this. This is so cool. Such a cool concept. So we have our little container. We have all of this stuff, just all, <laughs> let me get all of this open and out. So here is our display box. I love that, that's so cool. We have this little envelope with our tools inside. So let's get all of those out. And then we have the moist towelette and everything. And then this is the trading card thing. So you have something for each one. This is so cool. So you know, if you have, let's see, just emerald. On the back, it has so much information about your emeralds. This is so awesome. Oh, I love this. I love, I absolutely love this. All right, so we do have this envelope here. This is the Excavating Adventures Passport, and we have two sides on there. And then this is where we put our little cards, because these cards. This is awesome. I love it. And it's a whole sheet, and then you can put it in a binder. This is amazing. All right, so what we're going to do, is first things first, we are going to start scraping away and try to find out what we have inside here. I'm really excited to find out, so let's get started. All right, you guys, I have cleaned off all of the rocks. This was so cool because I didn't expect there to be so many like different sizes. And like you have to look really closely because you have some that are just like this. There's even tinier ones. Let's see right here. This is so cool. I love it. I'm so excited. So we're going to go ahead and kind of sort through these. We only did get one of these, which is really, it's really pretty. 
I'm gonna try my best to sort them via like what I think they are. Like, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, there seems to be a bunch of different ones. I like these ones, these like spotted ones. We'll find out, we're gonna do an identification obviously with our card and everything. But these like spotted ones are really cool. Alright you guys, I tried my best to sort them. Um, some of them got, got a little confusing because like these are two different short shades of yellow and everything. But let's check out this. So we do have Snowflake Obsidian. That's one that was my favorite with the little spots. We have the orange calcite and the topaz, which I believe are these two different ones, I think. Unless this one, actually this one might be it. But there's also citrine, so this might be the citrine, this might be the orange calcite, and this might be the topaz. Not 100% sure, actually. These look like these belong over here. Then the emerald, which I'm not sure if we got emerald. These also, these kind of look like the little emeralds, but they also kind of look along the lines of the Amazonite. Amaz Amazonite? I'm not sure how to say that. Then there's the ruby and sapphire mix, which I believe is this. Then the tiger's eye. Love the tiger's eye, it looks so good. Then we have the garnet, which is just the black stone. There are a few other ones. I guess this one's the amethyst, I would assume. So there's a bunch of different ones. And then I had some left over, like these ones. I wasn't sure. I think they might just not be washed off enough. So let's take a little look see at our cards. So since Snowflake Obsidian is my favorite one out of the ones we got, let's read a little bit about it. So, let me get this to focus. The Snowflake Obsidian is a type of black obsidian with white or gray spots. These spots are called spherulites, and they are composed of needle-shaped crystoballet, a type of quartz. Snowflake Obsidian forms in areas of past or present volcanic activity. These areas lie among the tectonic plate boundaries. Snowflake Obsidian has a similar composition to granite and rhyolite, which also have a high silica content, but is much faster cooling rate creates its glassy texture. This is so cool. So we do have a point system as well. And then I'm just going to, I'm not going to read all of these, but I will slowly kind of go through these and you guys can pause the video and read more about them. But this is so cool. This is so informational. I'm really excited. Even like the tiger's eye is a form of something quartz. Um, the pants are simple. I have a tiger. Like, it's just really cool. I love learning this way. This is so hands-on and fun. It is just, I was just a little confused with some of the sorting, but I think I'm, I'm going to spend a little bit more time cleaning these, and then I will definitely be able to completely sort them. But I do like how we have, like, these cards here. So this definitely just looks like the citrine, right? And I'm still unsure if these wider ones are, but let's see if the ruby and sapphire mix definitely are just, like, the more rock-looking ones, you know? And the tiger eye ones can be a few different colors as you can see so that's cool these cards really help like versus this like this helps this is nice for identification but these ones definitely gives you more of a real in life comparison i just don't know that like this just doesn't seem like amethyst to me just because it's so smooth and round but it's the most purple one and then this one just looks more like very pretty river stone so even like this might be the amazon i might be that that's definitely i don't know why i said it might be it but like these might even be, i don't know but definitely these like teal ones and then the orange citrite very very similar to the what was it citrine um so it's gonna be hard to tell with those ones and then the topaz is way more of a white so that's what these ones are and then the emerald so we can see that they come in even like darker colors so even the amazonite could be the emerald technically i guess i don't know and then the garnet kind of just looks like regular rocks that you would find. This is awesome though. I'm really excited. But you guys, I want you to leave me a comment down below and of all of the rocks that we found in this box or kit or that we, we, uh, we 
dug for. Which one is your favorite? We all know that the Snowflake Obsidian is my favorite. I'm very curious to know what yours is though. Did you guys know that you could find me on a few other YouTube channels? You can find me on Oak Collect Games, which is my gaming channel, Carolina Wild Harvest, which is my garden channel, and Oak Collect, which is my vlog channel. I will be link linking those all down below in the description box. Please go check them out. Leave some comments. Say hey. I'd love to have you guys over there. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe. I will be linking this box down below for you to check out if you are interested. And I will see you next time.